Hey what is going on guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you one of the most overpowered squad builders I have used on FIFA 16 actually um, because of how cheap this team is and how well it has performed for me. Um, as you can see it costs only 25k on Xbox One and I think it's about 10k more on PS4 so not too much more but this team is absolutely insane guys one of the best teams I've used um, for this for this amount of coins basically. Um, I'll run you through the team. So as you can see, um, it's like a mixture between a French League, uh, a Liga BBVA and a Serie A hybrid. So as you can see in goal, we've got Sirigu. Um, he's basically just your standard goalkeeper. You know, he's decent. He hasn't really done anything too amazing for me. But, you know, he's pretty solid in goal. Um, and then as for my centre-backs, David Luiz and Marquinhos, really good, solid centre-backs. Um, they feel a lot better than their stats suggest. Um, as you can see, they're pretty quick players. Uh, David Luiz with 73 pace and Marquinhos with 73 pace as well. Um, they've also got very similar stats actually. Uh, very similar defending stats and physical stats. Um, and David Luiz has also got decent passing as well, which is useful for a centre-back. So yeah, overall really solid defenders. Um, really cheap players as well, you know. Definitely ones you should put in your team for this amount of coins. As you can see, it's 25k this team. So, you know, they're very cheap players. Are very overpowered and good as you can see right back I've gone with Lick Steiner and left back Marcelo again really good players they're very similar um, just because you know they all they're, they both have really good all-rounded stats uh, really good defending and physical stats and good passing stats as well and they've also got good pace as well and they feel pretty good on the ball to be honest in my opinion uh, really good going forward as well uh, they do like to get forward as you can see because they have that high attacking work rate but if you put like a player instruction, like stay back while attacking on them, then they'll keep the defence very solid. As you can see for the centre mids, I have two very overpowered players. Uh, Kuchariak, one of my best defensive like midfield players in the game this year. Really good this guy, you know, he'll win everything in the air. As you can see, his defending stats are probably even better than our centre backs. With that 82 defending and 87 physical. Absolutely be an absolute beast this guy, you know, he's going to win everything in the middle. Um, everything in the air. Basically, you know, just really solid centre midfield, central midfielder. Um, definitely a player you should put in your team for his price. Same with Guarin, as you can see, really good all-rounded stats. He's also got 88 physical, so he's an absolute beast. He'll push anyone off the ball. Um, really good at winning the ball back, and he's also good going forward as well. He's got a got a really good long shot. Um, he's also pretty quick on the ball, which is which is very useful. And then as for one of my favourite attacking midfielders in the game, we've got James Rodriguez. This guy is an absolute beast. You know, his all-round stats are insane. Um, he's got 86 shooting, so his long shots are crazy. Uh, 84 passing, which is very useful. 85 dribbling, so he's really good on the ball. He's also pretty quick with that 78 pace and 72 physical as well, which is pretty good for a player of his height. Absolute beast in cam, and I think he's one of the most expensive players in the team. Um, but definitely a player you should try and pick up if you have the coins. As for my right wing and left winger, I have got Quadrado and Conor Plianka, really, really fast players. Um, as you can see, Conor Plianka with 92 pace and Quadrado with 93 pace. Really good players as well. You know, their finishing is great. Um, their passing is great. They've just got great all-round stats, you know, for wingers. Um, obviously, Quadrado, as you can see from his card, he has got a medium-high work rate. So, he does like to come back more than, more than he likes to go forward, uh, which... Sometimes it's a bit annoying, but I tend to find that Lick Steiner um, sometimes sort of overlaps him and Quadrado covers for Lick Steiner, so it works out quite well usually because Lick Steiner has that high attacking work rate um, and he's also pretty quick. So they sort of change places sometimes, which I don't find is too much of a problem in my opinion. Uh, it tends to work out quite well in this team. And then as for Conor Plianka, as you can see, you know, he's an absolute beast as well. Great all round stats and he's basically just going to, he's going to latch onto any three balls that you put through to this guy. Then as for my striker, the, ab the, the the beast himself, you know, Jackson Martinez. If you haven't used this guy on FIFA 16, definitely go and try him out. He's a bit like a Diego Costa type player. Um, feels very similar to him. I really like Diego Costa's card this year as well. Um, but as you can see, Martinez, he's got 81 pace. So he's not the fastest of players, but he makes up for that with his physical stats. Uh, 85 physical. He's going to hold everyone off the ball, basically. Um, and then he's got that 82 shooting. This guy's finishing is really, really good. I and mean, he also feels pretty decent on the ball as well. He's not the fastest of players, as I said, but when he's when he's like six foot uh, three, I think, or six foot four, this guy, um, he's going to win all the flick-ons to the wingers. Um, and his passing actually feels pretty decent as well, even though it says it's 67. Um, I always find he's pretty good at sort of putting through balls to the to Quadrado and Conor Plianka. Um, they're the players that sort of latch off of this guy. 
and um, finish the one off with the one on ones and stuff like that when you put them through on goal. And then if you want to play sort of like with crosses and stuff, that also works very well because obviously Martinez is a very tall player, so he's going to win a lot of headers basically. So yeah, really good all-rounded striker, you know, good for holding up the ball. Pretty decent for getting in behind, although I'd pre probably prefer to play this guy as like a target man, um, in my opinion. But yeah, that's the team guys. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new around here. And um, if you haven't seen already, I'm doing a 50k giveaway on my channel. Uh, just check out the video, my last video, basically, and I'll tell you like all what, what to do and basically... Um, you, you just have to leave a like and comment and be subscribed and you can be entered into the giveaway basically. So yeah, that's today's video. As I said, leave a like, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.